Welcome back to the shooting channel. And in this film, we've got a film that we've been asked in the comments to do. And we're gonna compare a modern day inexpensive cyberside. And we're gonna compare an old cyberside, probably 20 years old, 30 years old. And we're just gonna go through each gun and we're going to see what you get from a modern day basic 900 to 1,000 pound gun to an old side-by-side, -side, probably gonna retail at about 1,500 to 1,800 pounds. So I have got a Yieldits Wildfowler side-by-side -side, and I've got an AYA number two. So the Yieldits Wildfowler is brand new. It is three inch chambers. It's quite heavy. It's fully steel proof. Looks a little bit basic because it's made to go out and do a job. And I've got an AYA nice number two, which is a bit more of a classic gun, 15 to 1800 pounds retail. This particular gun is probably one of the best, most popular cybersides you can get before you go into the English made cybersides. But I wouldn't really, if I wanted a cyber side for going off and shooting on the foreshore or big heavy cartridges, this probably isn't my cup of tea. But if I want a nice cyber side for going game shooting and nice shooting, this is more my cup of tea. If I wanted a cyber side for going on the foreshore, shooting heavy cartridges, this is probably more what I'm gonna be, gonna be looking out to you. So starting with the yield it's going through, the biggest first thing I feel is the weight. This is probably about eight and a half pounds. Single trigger, a recoil pad, fairly plain wood, pistol grip, selected safety cap, fairly basic engraving, just got some little birds on it. Alloy action, multi-choke. Again, you can fit, you can put 32 gram threes through this. You can put really heavy stuff through this. The weight of the gun stops it recurling. And then I've got a nice AYA number two, Reasonably nice piece of wood on it. Very traditional straight hand stock, double trigger, color case hardening. They are also, this comes with hand attachable locks and this is hand engraved, handmade in Spain. Fixed choke and just a nice all round gun. You wouldn't really be putting your 32 gram threes through this. You can do, but it would recall quite a lot through it. So that is, that is the difference between these two guns. Again, the manufacturers don't say it's still proof, but to be fair, you can use steel for it. It wouldn't really harm it. Um, whereas on this one, you can put any old thing. It's also a Magnum, so you can put Magnum cartridges through it. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna shoot each gun and I'm gonna talk to you a little bit about each gun as we go through it. So I have also got my Fiocchi F3s and my Fiocchi's TTs, and we're gonna try those cartridges with it as well. So I'm gonna start my review with the AYA and I'm just gonna have a look at it, shoot a couple and see, we're gonna to talk to you as we shoot it at the same time. So if I'm gonna pick my AYA up, the first thing I'm gonna think about is when I pick this up, it makes me smile. It's like shooting a little bit of history. It's, they're great guns. If you pick a new one of these up, they're gonna cost you 12 grand, 15 grand. You can pick a nice one of these up for 1500 to 1800 pounds. Let's shoot it and let's see what it's like. Paul? 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 So, again, shot pretty much everything with this one. It's even got the drop points on there. It just makes me smile. Got a bit of recoil to it, but if I'm looking for 
a nice gun and I don't want to pay English money and I'm looking at a nice gun to go out and shoot nicely and shoot nice simulated days. It's the sort of gun you can take out the cabinet and go and shoot around a clays or a simulated game day. If you look at it, it looks nice as well. It's got the color hardening on it. It looks a little bit more stylish and they make it look nice as opposed to a just a tool. So I'm gonna compare these two to a nice BMW, Mercedes, Audi to a gun that is there to do a job. If I pick the Yield It's Wild Follow Up, the first thing I feel about it is it's heavy. They make it heavy for you to put big heavy cannon shells through it, magnums through it. The price is £900, give or take a little bit. And it's just one of those guns that is nice as a tool. If you haven't got a lot of money and you want to buy one to go game shooting with it, it will still do that as well. It's made to a price and it's made to do a job, but you can still go game shooting with it and have a round of clays with it if you only want to spend £900. So let's shoot it. Paul. 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 So again, the first thing I see with this is it's got no recoil on it whatsoever. It barely recoils at all. So if you're looking for a gun that you can shoot, a cyber side that you can shoot heavy cartridges through it, this is your gun for that. Balance wise, balance is very well. Again, it's a little bit heavy. So if you're looking for it to walk around a nice gaming shoot, I would do it, but it is just that little bit heavy to do it with. Pretty basic. It's got multi chokes, so you can put anything you want for it. But as a gun, you can't knock them both. They're just built to a spec and built for a job. So the AYA is built as a nice traditional gun and this is built as a cyber side to do a job. If any of you have got both of these, if any of you thinking about having both of these, please let us know, comment below, comment on what you think of these two guns. And this is old cyber side versus new cyber side or tall cyber side versus a nice cyber side. Please comment below on what you think. If, if you think, if you disagree with me, if you agree with me, please let us know what you think in the comments below. And I hope you've enjoyed this programme. Please like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram. Don't forget to join the membership for as little as 2 99 a month and hit that subscribe button. It really helps us to give you content like this. Please go onto the website, get your 10% off merchandise, and we'll see you on the next one. Thank you for watching.